Hi. I thought um, I will not do political posts anymore. I'm I'm 50 years old and and I have done my bit. Um, it should be the young people who who should take over and and look after the country's affairs. But the last few weeks events had compelled me to take this medium one more at least one last time to do one more post about this pandemic. What happened in the last week is this incident in in Bangalore BBMP this BJP's uh, young and dynamic MP Tejasvi Surya starting to communalize even the most basic need of of a people getting a hospital bed even they started communalizing even that so that to to divert the attention from the real problem of people not getting hospital beds or oxygen or ventilators so so let me let me go back to the beginning when this pandemic started in last year around march it was very small there it was it came from abroad by plane right so it was brought in by rich people to the to the dense urban centers of india right it could have been contained it was very small back then it could have, could have been contained in those dense urban areas but mr modi he thinks he is this big strong global leader he doesn't he doesn't like small responses or or small things so what he did with his with his 56 inch chest he imposed the most draconian lockdown in human history with 4 hours notice okay how draconian it is you have seen policemen beating people in the streets just for going out to buy their basic essentials essential items one guy in chennai got killed because he kept his mobile mobile phone shop open for few more hours after the lockdown he got killed by policemen it was that draconian okay and what happened it was not necessary okay and it did nothing to the to to stop the spread of the of the disease the disease spread even faster why because what was contained in those dense urban centers of india mr modi helped to spread it all over in in india how because all these people these laborers who lived on those cities worked there they had they, there was a complete chaos and confusion they had no place to go they had no food no nothing to feed their family so what they do they started walking back home to their own villages it was almost like apocalyptic scenes of of israelites leaving leaving uh, egypt it it looked like that and government completely ignored thinking the problem will go away it did it's, it's india after all right so so nothing happens here but what it did was it helped spread the disease from the city centers to all over india to every village of the country and it spread like wildfire through the months of may june july august september it spread like anything when the actual lockdown was needed when the when the, the pandemic was speaking up in september government had no option the economy was so down that they had to open it up even during that right so anyway so, so, so the, the pandemic started going down in its own way i mean nothing to do with whatever government did but probably the virus became weak or its ability to spread go down so it started going down from september october time frame okay no no credit to to, the, to whatever government did actually what the government was doing at that point of time they were building ram temple the same government who booked those 3000 tablighi jamaats who assembled in delhi i am not defending them they shouldn't have but they did the government booked them for manslaughter okay the, the tv channels told them that they are spreading corona jihad the same very same people were building ram temple in i don't know september october time frame i guess in the in the in the peak of the pandemic but pandemic still went down in its own way so it started going down from december january january february right all credit went to mr modi okay by the way i forgot to tell about how bjp's it cell justified this most disastrous lockdown by saying how the government was using this time to make sanitizers and ppe kits they started sending fake photos of railway compartments converted into into hospital beds where are they 
in their phones that's it it doesn't exist anywhere else what it really did this lockdown this disastrous lockdown is pushed 5 million people that's 50 lakh people below poverty that is the the biggest reduction of human lives in human history whereas china has has this big credit of of lifting 500 million people out of poverty in 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 a decade or two our government did the opposite they pushed 5 million people below poverty line by one single decision of this disastrous lockdown okay now now the start virus went down the first phase now the government the same government who was so conscious about their global image didn't take any notice of what is happening outside all over the world about what the second wave means what they were doing the vaccine came at that time finally right mr modi to build his global image and his uh, this statesman persona he started exporting vaccines started exporting oxygens started exporting drugs and gifting them all over the world it has to come from a very deep seated insecurity and inferiority complex to try to be glorify yourself at the expense of of your own countrymen whereas all other countries were hoarding these essential supplies mr modi was gifting them and bjp it cell was spreading all this all these photos of how india is saving the whole world what mr modi is saving the whole world all credit went to mr modi in february when the virus was its lowest and then came the second wave right completely unprepared india okay now now don't get me wrong health is a, is a state matter primarily so so the, the blame also goes equally to the state governments the, the mamtas and the, the uddhav thackeray's and and um, kejriwals cannot escape responsibility why they themselves did not build hospital beds and and, and oxygen plants and ventilators but their ability is limited compared to the to the to the central government's unlimited wealth and power right and they did not take credit for defeating the virus they did not have 56 inch chest like mr modi right so anyway so so second wave came and and that's it the government was completely kept inactive and people started dying for the lack of oxygen there was no hospital bed one of my 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 colleagues was sick and i couldn't find any hospital bed for him that's what happened and in and what the government did they started lying even dr harshvardhan one of the few good people in the mr modi's cabinet he started lying blatantly saying we have enough vaccines to vaccine vaccinate everybody whereas we knew that there is not enough vaccines right the vaccination centers were closed people were queuing up since 4 o'clock in the morning to get their doses and they had only 10 15 doses that's it and 400 people were queuing up why because vaccines were all gone they were they were give gifted we were sacrificing the people of our own country on the altar of mr modi's glorification that's what it is and they made a competent man like dr harshvardhan a liar and the worst part is when people are dying in the want of oxygen i have seen how how oxygens are being brought in in, in the hospital near my house okay pius goel third or fourth most senior member of the cabinet started lying bald face saying we have enough oxygen how can you say that mr goel how can you say that when people are dying cannot breathe at least have the decency to to say i don't know right is that that hard is that that hard to to ask from the government to say that well we are trying instead of lying that we have enough oxygen then why are you why are you importing them from germany and 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 england and and all over the place why the it cell is spreading all these all these photos of of um, oxygen express going all over the all over saving in india then if you have enough oxygen then why is all this thing happening i'm sorry i'm sorry this is this is not how a government responds to a tragedy of this proportion i'm sorry and we are going to remember this in 3 years time this is 
I hope India is not a dictatorship yet. It's still a democracy. In, in three years' time, Mr. Modi and his party has to go back to people to seek for another mandate. And believe me, I'm going to remember at that point of time all these things that the government has done today. And you're going to vote judiciously to make sure the country does not go through this again, ever. Thank you.